SCP-4260, the subdirective. Level 2, 4260 classified. Object class, Euclid. Raise a notice regarding the following document. This document has been significantly edited to obfuscate the identity of SCP-4260. Several addenda have been omitted and are only available with level 5, 4260 clearance. Special Containment Procedures Area 3, located 2 kilometers beneath Hong Kong, has been created to contain SCP-4260. The containment chamber surround housing SCP-4260 has been augmented with Strayer Density Matrix, designed to coalesce and bind its disparate elements. Maintenance to the Strayer Density Matrix is integral to SCP-4260's containment, it requires a specialized team of technicians and speculative esophysicists. The science in which it's the study on entities which exert an effect on reality by existing. MTF Gamma 8, Baphomites, has been assembled for this express purpose and will perform any necessary repairs to the matrix and operate it during procedure 8917. Archive Index, Termination of Primary Asset, SCP-4260. Procedure 8917 requires a joint operation between three mobile task forces assembled to ensure its effective completion. The assigned task forces den denote collectively as Amalgate Force Omicron-45, and their functions are as follows. MTF Gamma-8 Baphomites. Assembled from um, technicians proficient in the operations of the Strayer density matrices and the speculative esophysicists from RTF IOTA 39, Gods and Monsters, who will assist in their direction. MTF Shy 2, Out of the Shadows Come We Darkly, an armed mobile task force specializing in combat with esophysical deity class entities. MTF Shy 2 will engage SCP 4260 and terminate it, ending the initial stage of Procedure 8917. MTF-Tau-900, an armed mobile task force specializing in the location of civilians accidentally affected by a successful neutralization of SCP-4260. MTF-Tau-900 will then terminate all targets and remove evidence of the procedure's efficacy. Procedure 8917 is considered complete when the following criteria are met. In step one, SCP-4260 has been successfully terminated. Step two, the Strayer density matrix is fully operational. Step three, all affected civilians have been located and terminated. Step four, all evidence of procedure 8917 has been removed. And step five, SCP-4260 has been resurrected. The document detailing SCP-4260 uploaded to the Foundation intranet is to contain numerous omissions in order to obfuscate the identity of SCP-4260. Description SCP-4260 refers to the consciousness of an esophysical entity, which has permeated itself throughout the known universe. The effect of SCP-4260's existence has been well documented by almost every sapient culture. Termination of SCP-4260 has resulted in the neutralization of its primary anomalous effect until its resurrection during Procedure 8917. Addendum 4260.1 Activations of Procedure 8917 Date Redacted 1999 Termination method, fatal puncture wounds and blood loss administered by MTF Shy 2. Procedure causation, massive containment failure at site 62C. Duration of effect, 110 seconds. Affected, three civilians. Status recontained. Reanimated by SCP 3914 1 in exchange for lifting economic sanctions against Amazon Inc. Date, Redacted 2003. Termination method blunt force trauma by a member of MTF Shy 2. Procedure causation the nuclear bombardment of Site 001. Duration of effect 25 seconds. Affected one civilian. 
status recontained. SCP-4260's consciousness replicated and reproduced as tantalus.aic. Date, redacted date, 2008. Termination method, ter destruction of SCP-4260's hard drive completed by MTF Chai 2. Procedure causation, an imminent CK class reality restructuring scenario. Duration of effect, indeterminate. Affected, 7,213,426,000 individuals. Termination, unnecessary. Status, recontained. A copy of Tantalus.aic was uploaded into an appropriated Peregrine series humanoid utility droid. Date, redacted, 2015. Termination method, detonation of an electromagnetic pulse grenade performed by MTF Chai 2. Procedure causation, the redacted of 05-6. Duration of effect, 180 seconds. Affected, 30 civilians. Status, recontained. Usage of SCP-4051 to manifest a copy of SCP-4260. Date, redacted, 2016. Termination method, incineration committed by MTF Shai 2. During experimental operation, many crowned servant. Procedure causation, the insufficiency of SCP-4260's containment procedures. Duration of effect, 415 seconds. Affected, 10 civilians. Status, non applicable. Greetings, 05-9. You are viewing SCP-4260's low clearance iteration, current access, L6 general. Would you like to view iteration beta 4260? Item number 4260, level 5, top secret. Containment class, Euclid. Disruption class, dark. Risk class, critical. Special containment procedures. The containment procedures of iteration alpha 4260. 4260 have been deemed unsuitable for the prolonged containment of SCP-4260. As such, experimental operation Many Crowned Serpent was executed on February 13, 2016 in order to achieve optimal containment. As a result, the nature of SCP-4260 has been radically altered. Errors persist throughout the following description. Original drafting 0926-2000. Update pending. Description. SCP-4260 is the collective consciousness of an esophysical entity which has permeated itself throughout the known universe. SCP-4260's existence has resulted in the biological senescence of sentient organisms and is the direct cause of any organism's cessation of life functions. SCP-4260 itself is subject to its own entropy, and its anomalous influence on the universe has notably diminished in the preceding millennia. It is projected that SCP-4260 will expire by achieving an esophysical null state in 2017 CE. The former containment procedures of SCP-4260 proved both incapable of halting this effect and its anomalous, primarily anomalous trait, although complete physical containment was achieved. Procedure 8917 was finalized in March of 1999 and involved the termination of SCP-4260, which would result in an Omega K class end of death scenario and its immediate reanimation via anomalous means. The procedure was designed to prevent the deaths of high-profile individuals within the Foundation and global extinction if either event arose. Addendum 4260-Beta-1 Acquisition Assist Mist 4260 Timeline of Manifestation Event Date January 13, 1999 Context, primary site 76 began to register anomalous seismic activity of orig originating approximately one kilometer from the compound. 
Anomalous spatial distortions indicated Site-76 was experiencing an esophysical manifestation event. RTF-39 deployed for retrieval of object. Involved task forces, RTF, IOTA-39, Gods and Monsters, and MTF Mu-8, Southern Hospitality, at 12.09 a.m., Site-76 registers anomalous seismic activity. 12.15 a.m., readings recalibrated, cause of seismic activity, determined to be entropic in nature. At 1.03 a.m., RTF IOTA-39 deployed. At 1.45 a.m., IOTA-39 determines the focal point of seismic activity. Esophysical and entropic activity confirmed. Temporary observational post established. 1.55 a.m. Spatial distortions around the origin point indicate a manifestation event. IOTA-39 experiences mild pulling force towards origin as SCP-4260 attempts to create an area dense enough to manifest. 2.08 a.m. A rough approximation of a human arm manifests at the origin point. Arm falls to the ground and demanifests. 2.15 a.m., IOTA-39 report massive pulling force from our origin point. Observation post secured. 2.31 a.m., origin point is now sufficiently dense to facilitate a manifestation. Projected T-36 minutes. IOTA-39 requests containment transport. Site-76 assembles and deploys MTF-MU-8. 3 a.m. Manifestation event enters final stage. Observational post suffers minor damage as origin point contracts. Mu-8 arrives and prepares containment and transport. 3.7 a.m. Manifestation event ends. SCP-4260 manifests as at the origin point as an elderly human. SCP-4260 appears severely disoriented and requests immediate containment and hospitalization. Mu-8 restrains it and begins transport to Site-76's medical bay. Addendum 4260.beta-2 Lecture Log Date January 7, 2000 Lecturer RTF IOTA-39 Lead Preston Brax Context a response to the evident importance of Procedure 8917 to the Foundation's continued operation, the Overseer Council assembled an advisory panel composed of leading members of the Foundation's Esophysics Department, among them RTF lead Preston Brax. Individuals present, 054 through 0513, Directors of Area 3 and Site 76, nine members of RTF IOTA 39, three members of MTF Gamma 8. <clears throat> All right, time to begin. I am Dr. Preston Brax, lead of RTF IOTA 39 and assistant director of our little SO physics department. I call it little because we only have about 20 members. It actually came as a bit of a shock to us when we received your um, invitation. Thought you'd forgotten about us. Regardless, the SO Physics Department is dedicated to the study of entities which embody certain universal concepts, such as time, science, and in the case of SCP-4260, death. Old cultures refer to them as gods, which is a bit of a misnomer. We call them intrinsics. Gods are reality-bending entities, usually with their own agendas and identities. Intrinsics are concepts which cannot be separated from our cosmos without us living in a radically different world. They're more concept than entity and rarely take any sort of physical form. SCP-4260 is somewhat of an anomaly in that regard. As it stands, modern parascience is woefully ignorant of the basics of esophysical reality. We have no idea how many intrinsics exist if they can be contacted, and to what degree of agency each one has. The avenue towards containment, then, is research. I'm sure most of you have been briefed about SCP-4260's retrieval last year, so 
I won't belabor any points, but SCP-4260's behaviors have proven to be beyond insightful. First, we know that these things aren't omniscient or all-knowing, because it came to us with hopes that we would know how to save it. It was wrong. Second, we know it's smart. It chose the form of an elderly human, superficially unthreatening and incapable of violence. This was a calculated decision, meant to incline Mu-8 and Iota-39 towards helping it instead of combating it. It succeeded. SCP-4260 does not have a defined personality, nor does it have any goals or motivations beyond self-preservation. When the universe was new, its death was incalculable. Life could not even hope to begin. Death was everywhere in the dark, dark expanse of a lonely cosmos. But over time, a miracle occurred. Maybe the first anomaly. Death began to die. Slowly, ever so slowly, it began to be poisoned by its own ever-present miasma. The million claws which reached from the dark and tore down civilization took hold of their master as well, dragging it screaming into the abyss. Death is dying under our roof, council members, and that is the most terrifying and most fantastic news humanity may ever receive. Greetings, O5-9. Operation Many Crown Serpent has significantly altered the nature of SCP-4260. An update to this file is currently pending approval by the Foundation Archival Department to rectify the persistent errors throughout Iteration Beta-4260. Review pending Iteration Gamma-4260. Number 42, SCP-4260. Object Class, Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-4260 is to be quarantined in Secure Facility Area 3, which has been converted into a Secure Facility location, designed to protect SCP-4260 from most documented K-Class end-of-the-world scenarios. The facility has been staffed minimally, and no individual is to enter the central underground chamber housing SCP-4260 at any time. The central chamber in which SCP-4260 is contained is classified as a large-scale entity containment unit, and it has been augmented with a concurrent circuit of seven Strayer density matrices maintained by MTF Gamma-8 Baphomites. If SCP-4260 attempts to exit its containment chamber or contact any of the facility staff, 053, 054, and 0510, Foundation Directors of Hypothetical Scenarios, Existential and Pataphysical Studies, and Active Containment, respectively, are to be alerted as soon as possible. Description SCP-4260 is Foundation Administrator Ethan Howerwitz who has undergone considerable physical augmentation as a result of Operation Many Crowned Serpent. SCP-4260's anomalous properties include, but are not limited to, did to extreme anatomical augmentations. SCP-4260 qualifies as a large-scale entity measuring 130 meters when standing and possessing a variable number of limbs which can be freely operated. Anatomical manipulation. Although SCP-4260 usually appears to be a large-scale entity, it is capable of altering its physiology for a limited time. Alterations can be as extreme as reverting to Administrator Howard's non-anomalous body prior to Operation Many Crown Serpent. Resistance to injury and incapacitation. It has been speculated that MTF Chai 2, out of the shadows come we, darkly, would require an unprecedented damage output ordinance to complete the initial stage of procedure 8917, and the esophysical abilities which remain poorly understood. So long as SCP-4260 remains alive, any living organism is subject to entropic decay and death. 
SCP-4260 has become resistant to the tethering capabilities of the strayer density matrices. If five of the seven concurrent matrices in its containment chamber fail simultaneously, SCP-4260 will breach containment and, invert and inadvertently initiate a Chai K class crowning of death scenario. The esophysical entity, previously cataloged as SCP-4260 prior to its neutralization in Operation Many Crowned Serpent, exhibited several of these anomalous traits to a more limited degree. After its termination, Foundation Administrator Ethan Howerwitz elected to transfer its anomalous properties onto his own person in accordance with the contractual and ritualistic nature of Operation Mini Crowned Serpent. Addendum 4260.1 These are the prime directives of the Foundations. To secure, to contain, and to protect. To remove the anomalous items, persons, and phenomena from the public sphere. To effectively suppress the resurgence of these anomalies or the discovery of them by the general public. And to hold above all else but reality itself, the sanctity of life and the necessity to preserve it. This is the sub-directive of the Foundation, to terminate the primary anomalous phenomena which has plagued life since life's conception, or to facilitate the termination thereof. This is the prime anomaly, death. The sub-directive was never meant to be feasible, at least not in the day and age of our founding. We cannot hope to mitigate the disasters that this would result in. Overpopulations, species stagnation, and susceptibility to cataclysmic extra-dimensional forces, which can only be contained via euthanization of those affected, remain the lonely dream of the men who began our venture to order chaos so many decades ago. Now, over a century later, we can achieve the subdirective at any moment, with only a missive sent to the lead of AF Omicron 45. I suppose it would be marvelous to see a world without death and infirmity, each person freed from the dread of uncertainty and peril. Maybe one day we will find a way to make that world. Until such time, we must secure the perpetual containment of death. This is the nature of many crowned serpent to fulfill the first steps of the Foundation's subdirective. As it stands now, death is a hostile entity intent on its own self-preservation at any cost. We spoke once, and I began to realize that if it could feel anything at all, it would feel the same fear we must face under its tyranny. We could not save death from itself. As far as our science has elevated us, our understanding of reality's based components is sorely lacking. I told this to SCP-4260, and it smiled. Administrator, it said, how can I die when I will live on through you? Death has struck a deal with us. In all of its arcane knowledge, it knows a way to live on afterwards. It has chosen me to be its heir. It is a choice between the eternal agony of humanity and a pain suffered only until we know enough to repair our tired species. It is not a choice at all. This last evil I must allow us to be suffered patiently. Be bold, for one day soon we will have won the battle waged by both us and our ancestors, emerging from the primordial soup. Struggle for life everlasting. Foundation Administrator Ethan Horowitz.